Good morning. I am coming to you this morning with words that I don't yet feel. <laughs> I've been fighting about it for the last couple days. I am coming to you this morning with, um, I feel like during a time when <laughs> it's getting real. It is getting real. I look around and I'm like the seriousness, the brevity, the depth of the need in this situation is, in this season in time, is huge. It's shaking. It's um, overwhelming. It's serious. This is some serious business we are going through in this season. Serious. But what I keep hearing is the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yeah, this is a serious season. But the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yeah, we are walking through unprecedented times with unprecedented needs, but the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yeah, we are having conversations right now that we have, some of us never had in our entire lives, <laughs> but the joy of the Lord is your strength. I'm not saying your escape, I'm not saying, your, but the joy of the Lord is your strength. The enthroned one, it says in Psalm chapter two, sits in heaven and laughs. God's laughing at his enemies. The joy of the Lord is your strength. He walks in victory, not with his head hung low. Oh, woe is me, what am I gonna do? Look at the United States of America, they're coming undone. The enthroned one sits in heaven and laughs at his enemy. The joy of the Lord is your strength because we don't wrestle with each other. Love your enemy. Pray for those who persecute you. The joy of the Lord is your strength. A gentle answer turns away wrath. A gentle answer calms the situation. How are you gonna do that? The joy of the Lord is your strength. You might have personally, I might have personally ruined some stuff. Relationships, opportunities, you name it. How am I gonna move forward? How am I gonna patch this up? I'm telling you there are answers that can only be found when you accept that the joy of the Lord is your strength. And, and how does that look? Well, <laughs> for everyone, the joy of the Lord looks very different, but I can tell you that it is not somber and it is not hanging its head. It is not defeated. The joy of the Lord is your strength. We live in an opposite kingdom. We live in an opposite kingdom where the weak are strong. Where the childlike are faith-filled. And I tell you that in these serious days, in these somber days, in these difficult days, in these painful days, I tell you that the joy of the Lord is your strength. The last thing, the very most opposite thing that I wanna say to, man, I wanna speak to what's going on. <laughs> I wanna speak to this season. I wanna cry, I wanna weep, I wanna bang my head against a wall. You know, until my forehead's bloody and everyone can say, oh, 
<laughs> she cares. <laughs> and all I keep hearing from heaven is the joy of the Lord is your strength. So this morning, I speak the joy of the Lord over you. I speak, I speak, I speak, I speak God's unlimited joy over your life. I declare that a literal portal of joy is opening up over your head right now and buckets and buckets and buckets of golden joy are falling on your head today. You know why? Because what we are walking through is some serious business and we need some strength for this journey and I can't give it to you and I can't get it from you. But my God sits in heaven laughing at his enemies because we wrestle not with flesh and blood. We ain't fighting each other, yo. And a gentle answer turns away wrath. And how can I have the strength to shut my mouth? <laughs> well, the joy of the Lord is your strength. So I release that on me this morning. I release that on you this morning. The joy of the Lord is your strength. So today, go out this week. Go out and get your joy on. Get your laughter on. And that doesn't take away from the seriousness of what we're walking through. But it gives you strength to walk through what we're walking through. Breathe in joy. Breathe out frustration and anger. Breathe in joy. Breathe out fear. Breathe in joy. Breathe out pain. And go on and love somebody today. Love somebody that challenges you. Love somebody that hurt you. Love someone who's your enemy. Pray for them who persecute you. The, how am I gonna do that? The joy of the Lord is my strength. A gentle answer. Give a gentle answer to someone who's screaming in your face today. How am I gonna do that? The joy of the Lord is my strength. His power is made perfect in weakness. The joy of the Lord is my strength. He sits in victory, laughing. <laughs> laughing. Go and receive his joy today, this week, 